guys. So uh, we went to Sprouts today and I got some TVP, uh, which is textured vegetable protein, and I have never made it before. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna attempt to make soft tacos using TVP. Uh, for any of you who don't know what it is, it's this. It's kind of like soy curls, but all ground up. Just a different brand. And um, yeah, this is the Bob's Red Mill brand. And I don't really understand the instructions because it says seven eighths of a cup, which I'm assuming is just barely underneath a cup of water or vegetable broth for one cup of Bob's Red Mill. But there is literally no seven eighths of a cup measuring measurement on any measuring cup I've ever seen. My cups don't have a seven eighth of a cup. So I'm just gonna assume it's a one to one ratio basically. And I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna make this whole package. So hopefully it all fits in this pan. I'm using a pretty big pan. If we have leftovers, that's fine with me. I'll be happy because I love leftovers. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this big pan and I'm just gonna um, put a couple cups of water in there and I'm gonna use a no chicken bouillon cube to season the water and melt it down you know as it gets hot and when it starts to boil I'm gonna pour the package of TVP in there and then these are the other seasonings I'm about to show you all of the other seasonings that I'm gonna throw in there I wish that I had an onion but I don't have any onions so I'm just gonna make it plain pretty much with a bunch of seasonings and yeah we're gonna see how it turns out let's experiment together and <laughs> see how it goes so since I'm using this chicken broth I might not need this Johnny seasoning salt but it's there just in case I do end up needing a little bit extra salt so I'm gonna use garlic powder onion powder the last of my Benson's table tasty bravado because I might as well there's just a little bit left and it does say right there that it's for tacos and beans so we'll give that a try and then some chili powder a little bit of red pepper flakes for a little bit of spice and then some smoked paprika some regular black pepper and then once the TVP is is rehydrated I'm gonna add in some sweet corn and some black beans so I just figured if I end up using too much water then I'll just boil it until all the water evaporates and it should be fine so let's see how this goes so I'm starting here with four cups of water and a no chicken bouillon cube Turn my uh, stove on high so we can get it boiling as soon as possible. It's gonna take a little bit for this to melt down. When the water gets warm, it'll work better. Actually, these directions say one half a cube for one cup of water, and I put four cups of water in this, so I'm gonna actually add a second bouillon cube to this water to make it more flavorful. All right, our water's boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my PDP. three and a half cups worth of TVP and I put four cups of water so I think we're gonna be good so basically it says to just let it rehydrate for 10 minutes all right so my 10 minutes is up I did turn the heat off while it was rehydrating because it didn't say to keep it on the heat or whatever it just said to put boiling water over it so now I'm gonna add my seasonings and I'm gonna turn the stove on so that we can kind of brown it just like regular meat it smells pretty good already just like that with the chicken um, bouillon in it but I like my things super flavorful so I don't actually measure so you guys can just watch me pour a bunch of seasonings in here this is onion powder And it's almost empty, so there's not much left. I'm gonna put some chili powder. Some red pepper flakes. I don't wanna put too many because my kids don't like spicy stuff. Some black pepper. 
The rest of the Bravado Benson's. Yeah, there wasn't much of this left either. Just a lot of big chunks of seasoning at the left at the bottom. All right, and then we're gonna put some smoked paprika. Garlic granules. And let's give it a stir. I have a feeling it is gonna need salt, so let's give it a taste. Hmm. It actually doesn't need much. I think it only needs a little little pinch of salt. But I think I'm gonna put some more chili powder. And then we're gonna add our corn and our black beans, which I'm gonna drain and rinse. Put some more chili powder. And I'm gonna put a little bit more smoked paprika. I've got Luis over here in the corner getting the other things ready. The avocado and everything. And then I'm going to add in a can of corn. And a can of black beans, which I actually did not rinse. I just drained them. <laughs> Being lazy. This TBP tastes really good though. So far, I like it. I think it's going to be really good. And I actually don't have a can of diced tomatoes, so I'm not going to put any tomatoes in it. I've got salsa so that's okay. Now I just gotta heat, heat this through and it's ready to go. And then we're just gonna plate up our soft tacos. verdict two thumbs up two thumbs up two two thumbs up i only have two hmm. what's your verdict hmm? what's that what do you think about it hmm. three thumbs up you have three no hmm? what do you like or do you like it yeah mm -hmm. okay i'm not so sure the gary is telling the truth but i am it's really good. good you like it He's devouring it. Good, I'm glad. Let me get mine. Like, he, you know, just cooking some eggs, popping them, leaving them sh sh shells in there, and then putting some cat cap and crunch on it, and some milk in a pan, on a stove. And they were actually cooking it. <coughs> I can't believe Junior actually. And these are real people? Huh? People like, people like goose and dolls. Mm. Yeah. Just like Jeffy. Oh, nice. I like Jeffy the most. No, 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 no. Sorry, I already took a bite without you. <laughs> without me? It's very good. I would definitely make it again. <laughs> Cheers. I'm gonna eat now. All right, so that was my TVP experiment. I think it turned out really well. Uh, it was good. And let me know if you guys have ever tried it and what's your favorite recipe to use it in because Luis was like, ooh, we can use it for this and we can use it for this and we can use it for this. Let me know what your guys' favorite recipe is and if you have a link for it, let me know in the description box. I mean, comment section for and nacho recipe. we'll check it out. Yeah, Luis wants to try to make nachos with it. So now that we have the day of cheese nacho sauce, well, you know, mac and cheese sauce that they sell now separately at Sprouts that we got in our last food haul, if you saw our last food haul, we we're thinking we could make that and then make nachos with it and ah, uh, sounds really good. For a cheat day, because we've been trying to behave, so uh, we're gonna try not to eat that cheese very often. So anyway, it was really good, I enjoyed it, the kids liked it, and we'll definitely be having it again. So let me know your favorite recipes again in the comments and thanks for watching my little broccoli bites. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.